So for today's workout, we have Clutch Body Shop athlete and fitness model superstar Amber Elizabeth Dodge White. Remember, for today's workout and every workout in the 24-7 Fitness Trainer, you can follow along in real time on your phone, tablet, computer, or television. All right, so we're going to start today's workout with our dynamic warm-up. We're going to start with jogging in place. With each one of these exercises in the dynamic warm-up, you're going to perform each one of them for 30 seconds apiece. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So Amber's going to start with jogging in place. And again, with every single one of these warm-ups, you want to really be at a level seven of 10 intensity. Not pushing yourself too hard, but by the end of this warm-up, you should definitely be sweating. Your body should be warm. About halfway through. Good. Coming up is jumping jacks. Five, four, three, two, and one. Right into jumping jacks. So Amber's taking a nice wide stance. A lot of times I see people doing jumping jacks or kind of shortcutting the movement. Make sure you're coming all the way up with your arms, all the way out with your legs. Also make sure with this warm up that you're keeping your core tight. We really want to get every muscle in the body fired up. Okay, and then five, four, three, two, one. Switching over to butt kicks. This is an exercise to warm up the hamstrings. Go ahead and give them a twist so they can see what you're doing. So Amber's keeping her knee right underneath her hips and just bringing her heel right up to her butt. Making sure that the arms are moving. Keep your shoulders nice and loose. Five, four, three, two, one, switching over to switch kick with arm circles. And Amber's keeping her core tight. Her legs, her quads are straight. This is great to warm up your quads. Also, she's keeping her arms at a parallel angle to her shoulder, getting the shoulders nice and warmed up. How's your core feel? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one, switching over to walking high knees, your last exercise in the warm-up. And this is great for the hip flexors. You want to make sure that the hip flexors are really, really warmed up before you perform any sort of workout. We spend so much time sitting down. It's important to get all this stuff moving again, everything nice and loose. Again, she's keeping her core tight through this exercise. She's not leaning forward as she's bringing her knees up. Good. Four, three, Two, one. So we're gonna start with the seated floor hamstring stretch. And again, each one of these is gonna be performed for 30 seconds as well. Her legs are straight. If you can't get all the way out to your feet, it's okay. Just go as far as you can go comfortably and you can grab onto your calves. It is really important though, that when you are stretching, you take yourself slightly out of your comfort zone. I see people at the gym kind of half-assing stretching and you're doing nothing if you're doing that. The idea is to really warm the muscle up. Okay, so now she's gonna come back and relax and give it about five seconds and she's gonna go right back into the next stretch. Performing stretches twice are, is really an advantage to the body because on the next stretch, you'll see that it's much easier. You can go much farther with the stretch than you could on the first one. So let's go ahead and go right back into it. And again, on the second round, you're gonna be performing the stretch for 30 seconds as well. Good, keep your head down. So your head should be down. You should feel this stretch all the way through the back. Okay, moving on to the next stretch, which is a quad stretch. Okay, good, so for this stretch, you wanna make sure that your knee is going straight to the ground. Pull back to where you're comfortable. If you have difficulty standing in place and doing this stretch, it's okay to use a wall or whatever's nearby to keep your balance. Good, 15 seconds. Four, 
four, three, two, one. And go right into the stretch one more time. While you're going through these stretch exercises, you really want to make sure that you're breathing. I like to tell people that it's really important to kind of get your mindset right for what's ahead. This is an opportunity to really focus on kind of what your goal is for the workout and what you're trying to get out of it. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, switch to the other leg. You know, sometimes when I'm at the gym, I see people that while they're stretching, checking social media or posting or, or doing things like before they're getting ready to get into a workout. And that's not what you should be doing when you're in the gym. You really need to kind of tune everything from the outside world out and focus solely on what you're there to do. This is really an opportunity to get your head in the game. So use that opportunity wisely. Okay, 30 seconds, let it shake it out. Good, so she's shaking it out and she's gonna go right back up again. Good. So I'm really trying to get her knee to be parallel to this knee here because that's really what's going to drive the stretch. You know, if pe you see people doing a quad stretch and they're really not pulling the, the leg back far enough, that's not going to do a whole lot for you. Good. So five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. Next stretch is going to be the sumo squat. Let's get into it. Good. So Amber is really putting, placing all of the weight on her heels here. This is to really open up the hips, stretch out the groin. People who do a lot of sitting at a computer or you do a lot of squatting or running, this is an area that sometimes gets drastically overlooked and this can lead to a lot of issues with the low back. So this is a really, really great stretch to do not just before you're working out, but throughout the day. Good, two, one. Come back up, shake it out. And she's gonna go right back down for the next set. How you feel? Okay. Okay, good, and again, while she's going through these exercises, she's breathing. Very important to breathe while you're stretching. Again, sometimes I see people, they're holding their breath while they're stretching. You're not doing yourself any favors by doing that. You need to pump oxygen into the body. Okay, three, two, one, back up. Okay, next up, we have a dynamic chest stretch. So with this exercise, Amber's gonna be going through a movement, just warming the chest up. You don't wanna be tearing through this exercise. You don't wanna be like feverishly swinging your arms because again, we're just warming up, but we don't wanna tear anything. We don't wanna injure anything. Her arms are staying nice and loose. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, so she's gonna just kind of shake out and move on to the next set of this. So each one of these exercises is, is designed to basically get your body ready for the cardio workout that you're about to do. Again, it's so important to go through dynamic warm-ups and stretching before you go into something that's high intensity, which all the clutch body shop workouts are. So this is a great way to get the body prepared. Three, two, one, good. Shoulder across the chest. So Amber's gonna go ahead and lift up. She's applying pressure to the elbow with this hand and bringing the arm across the body. With this stretch, I'm really trying to get into the delt and the rear delt to stretch that out. Um, the other thing about this stretch that's important to note is if you feel a contraction or pain in your chest, that means that you really need to work on your chest flexibility. Sometimes when you bring the arm across the body, the chest has a tendency to contract if you're not working on your flexibility in that area enough. Okay, three, two, one. She's gonna let this arm down and bring it across again. Good. 
So if you guys are doing this at home, again, make sure that you're breathing through the stretches. Make sure that you're staying nice and loose. Don't contract the whole body. Don't hold your breath. So often I see people going through these stretch exercises at the gym and they're literally red in the face as they're stretching. That's not the point of this. The point is to start pumping oxygen into your body and to prepare for the workout ahead. Okay, switch. Good. Okay, so she's gonna go ahead and start on the other side now. Good, and again, stretching also, unknown to most people, it also can help promote fat loss in the body because what studies have shown is that stretching, because it's a relaxation technique, it can help promote lowering of cortisol levels, which again can promote better muscle definition, fat loss. It's not just something that is designed to stretch muscles out. Okay, two, one, shake it out. Okay, go ahead and bring it back across. I've seen that with people that spend at least a day stretching a week or add this at the beginning or the end of any workout, they're gonna see better results in their body just because of the fact that the cortisol is dropping and because you're lengthening the muscles out throughout the workout, you're gonna get, your, you have better power output. You have more leverage to make the movements happen because you're basically taking a muscle from here instead of here and then contracting. Okay, go ahead and stop. Okay, let's move on. Next up is a tricep stretch. Amber's gonna go ahead and she's gonna bring that elbow up, her arm is back, and she's using this hand again to just press lightly on her elbow, bringing the arm down. So you will, you'll feel this in the tricep. A lot of you will also feel this coming down through your lat, which is another area that gets kind of overlooked with stretching, and it's very important to keep this area nice and lengthened out because the lat can actually, which, because it attaches in the low back, if it's not lengthened out, it can really pull on that low back, which you don't want. Good, relax. Just gonna shake it out. Bring it right back up. Good. So for those of you who are doing this at home, this is a stretch that you really wanna make sure that that elbow is against your ear. You don't wanna have your elbow all the way out here trying to perform the stretch. It should be pressed right against your head and pulled down. Three, two, one. Amber's gonna go ahead and switch to the other side. Good. Good. 10 seconds left on this side. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Good, shake it out, come back up. Okay, so you've got 10 more seconds left. Coming up, we have the iliopsoas stretch. She's going back down on the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. So Amber's gonna get into the iliopsoas stretch next. She's gonna be on one knee and she's gonna put her foot slightly past 90 degrees. She's gonna flex her glutes and then she's gonna sink into this stretch. Once you have your balance, you wanna bring your arm up and over your body and then come back. So you're leaning back. What this is gonna do is it's gonna help bring a great stretch into this area. Good, okay, relax. Good, she's gonna shake it out. Go right back into it. The iliopsoas is a hip flexor that runs right through the core of your body and attaches in your low back. If it gets too tight, it can cause a lot of back problems, tightness and spasm. So it's a great stretch to do at the beginning and end of any workout. If you're ever at your desk at work and you're feeling like a lot of tightness in your low back, this is your stretch. Good, so she want to, wants to make sure that she's staying back. Good, three, two, one, good. So she's gonna switch to the other side. 
Now, if you find that you're doing this stretch and you're not feeling it right through this area, you really, let's get Amber into the position first. Put your hand up. Okay, so if you're in this position and you're not feeling this stretch through here, it's really important that you start leaning back. So I want Amber to bring her body back. So you're leaning back and into the stretch. You'll also feel this through parts of your groin. Good, five, four, three, two, one, good, and stop. And she's gonna go through this one more time. Also, this is great for the quad as well. Okay, go ahead and get right back into it. And again, keeping the upper body totally straight. She's staying very tall while she's doing this. She's not leaning forward. So if you need to use a mirror while doing this, if you have one available to you, this is a great exercise to use a mirror for to make sure your body is in this perfect position. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. So next, Amber's gonna move into a low back stretch. So she's just gonna lay on her back. And most of you have done this, have done a stretch like this. Okay, and she's just gonna bring one knee over her body. Good, and she's gonna rotate. Good, so this stretch is gonna go right through the low back, parts of the lat. And sometimes you'll even feel this in parts of your glute. Good, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, just gonna come back over and then come right back over. Good. And you can use this hand on this side if you want to get a better stretch to really use to press against your hip if you don't have obviously a partner helping you stretch. Um, that'll just help accentuate the stretch even further because sometimes using your own body weight, you can't get quite far enough. Got 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. So now Amber's gonna switch to the other side. Again, bringing that knee down to the ground and keeping everything very relaxed through the leg. And you can use that hand to press your hip further towards the floor to really get deeper into the stretch. This arm should be totally relaxed. You'll also feel a slight chest stretch with, with this exercise, which is great. Good. So we've got six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. She's gonna shake it out and move right back across. Good. Sometimes when I see people do this stretch, I'll see this arm start to lift up off the ground. That is, that's not what you wanna do. You wanna keep that arm nice and relaxed because again, through all these stretches, there's always secondary muscles that are also being stretched. So with this stretch, it's the, it's the chest, which is great, right? Because we use our chest a lot for push-ups for this routine, everything from that to overhead press. So it's very important that we keep that nice and stretched. Okay, three, two, one. Good, and stop. So Amber's gonna go ahead and move into a glute stretch next. She's just gonna sit up. She's gonna cross one leg across the other, and she's gonna use this arm to pull her knee into her body, keeping this leg nice and straight. Good. Ten seconds. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, good. So she's just gonna shake it out for a second and bring it right back up. Good. So again, she's breathing. She's keeping her upper body nice and tall. She's not leaning into the stretch. Good. Perfect. 10 seconds left, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Just gonna shake that side out and she can move on to the next side. So again, pulling the knee across. If you don't feel this stretch enough when you pull the knee across, 
try and twist your leg more this way, that's gonna help really pull more glute into the stretch. Good. Just about 10 seconds left. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great, so Amber's shaking it out. She's bringing the leg right back across. Again, using that arm to bring her knee across. And you can see she's just shifted her body weight. So now she's kind of opening up that again, that'll help really open up the low back as well. So you can stay in that original position or if you're trying to get more of a low back stretch, you can also twist your body slightly. Good. So we've got five seconds left, five, four, Three, two, one. Good.